Hey guys, Dr. Rob here today, and I want to welcome you to my next whiteboard session. Today we're going to be talking about the difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. All right, so the first form of diabetes we're going to talk about is type 1 diabetes. Type 1 is very different than type 2. It's actually an autoimmune disease. The immune system is attacking the what are called the beta cells that are the insulin producing cells in the pancreas and the immune system destroys those cells pretty significantly and as a result the pancreas can no longer make insulin insulin is the hormone that helps you to uh, take sugar from your blood and put it in your cell in addition to that insulin is also the most powerful fat storing hormone which is why type 1 diabetics don't usually have a problem with too much body fat they're actually usually more on the lean side especially if they're a type 1 diabetic athlete they're usually kind of more ripped right so that's type 1 diabetes it's still a problem with the management of blood sugar in that the blood sugar goes too high it's just because the person's pancreas can't make enough insulin okay so here's how type 2 diabetes works so a person eats a bunch of carbohydrates like bread or they have a soda or pasta or whatever it is even fruits and as a result their blood sugar levels go up so all these little red dots over here these are all going to represent sugar molecules in the blood that triggers the pancreas to make its hormone called insulin insulin travels through the blood and insulin will plug into this little thing here on the surface of the cell called an insulin receptor. See, the insulin fits exactly right in that receptor, just like a key fits into the lock. When the insulin fits into that receptor, it gives the command to the cell to open up and absorb sugar. So what actually happens is the cell, now it doesn't really do exactly what I'm showing you, but for all intents and purposes, this is what happens. The cell opens up and the sugar from the blood leaves the blood to a degree, we still have some left, but the sugar from the blood leaves the blood and it goes into the cell. And then the cell and the pancreas is happy, it doesn't release any more, any more hormone, the cell closes up, and we have now normal blood sugar. This might be a blood sugar of 85 over here. So let's pretend that's normal, that's 85. Okay, so this is what's supposed to happen with the management of your blood sugar. In a type two diabetic, what's occurred is this. They've eaten so many carbohydrates and so many refined foods for such a long period of time that these receptors, these insulin receptors, they lose their sensitivity. Now, what does that mean? It simply means they don't work as well. Um, I don't really drink alcohol very often. It's kind of rare. So if I was to go out and have a glass or two of wine, I'm going to feel it. I would be what's called a lightweight when it comes to drinking. Um, so, however, someone else that drinks all the time, you know, like maybe they have five or six glasses of wine every night, well, they can have a glass or two of wine and it won't really have that much of an effect on them because they built a tolerance to the alcohol or they are resistant to the alcohol. Now, similar thing happens with type 2 diabetes. What happens with type 2 diabetes, right? We got a bunch of sugar in the blood. So here's all the sugar. We got all the sugar in the blood. We got no sugar in the cell. So the body realizes that, the pancreas realizes that, and it goes, wow, we got to make some insulin. The pancreas makes some insulin. Insulin plugs into the receptor. It tells the cell, hey, absorb all that sugar. And the cell goes, huh? The receptor doesn't relay the message. The insulin goes, hey, absorb the sugar. And the cell goes, what? The receptor goes, what? What do you want me to do? Absorb the sugar. But it only gives the message just slightly. And as a result, the cell only opens up just a little bit compared to a lot. And as a result of that, the sugar is only reduced from the blood a tiny bit. So what happens now is the blood sugar stays high. The blood sugar stays high. So the key with type 2 diabetes, and although I do not claim to treat diabetics at all, um, the, one of the reasons why we have so many testimonials about two, type 2 diabetes and one of the reasons why we get so much success with type 2 diabetics is because we understand what needs to be done naturally as far as supplementation as well as we understand what happened what needs to be done dietarily speaking to reset these receptors so they again become sensitive to insulin and that's the key with type 2 diabetes you have to reset the sensitivity of the receptor type 2 diabetics is not an insulin production problem they're making plenty of insulin it's a receptor problem it's the receptor the insulin is telling the cell, it's giving the message, it's telling the cell to open up and absorb the sugar, but the receptor is damaged. 
Unfortunately, sometimes with type two diabetics, they will give insulin. Now, why would they do that? It's to increase the odds that the insulin will make it to an insulin receptor on the cell. So you have so many cells in your body and your body's making plenty of insulin in type two diabetes. But what they'll do is they'll even load more insulin into the body to help increase the odds that this insulin is gonna make it into one of these cells receptors. And one of the issues with that is insulin is the most powerful fat storing hormone in your body. So when your body's making plenty of insulin and now you're injecting even more insulin in your own body, now you're really creating a very, very fat storing type of situation in the body. So the key is to do the correct dietary changes to change the sensitivity of these receptors, right? As well as to use the correct nutritional supplementation to help support the correction of these receptors. So that's the big difference between type one and type two diabetes. Type one is an autoimmune disease and it usually requires an eating program and a nutritional supplementation program that is beneficial to an autoimmune disease type of case versus a type two diabetes, which is totally receptor driven and it needs nutritional supplementation as well as dietary changes that are specifically targeted towards supporting the resensitization of those insulin receptors. So I hope that helped. Um, again, I don't claim to treat type two diabetes at all. We just happen to get really good results with them. But if you know someone that has type two diabetes or you know someone with any type of health or weight problem, please send them my way. I am happy to help them. And if you have some particular health problem or weight problem that you want help with, go to my website. I will put a link down here below and fill out the free online weight loss and health evaluation. And one of my awesome staff will get back with you and tell you how we can help. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with a friend. Please subscribe to my channel and I will catch you at the next Dr. Rob's whiteboard session. See ya.